All right, we're back. Well, what do we got today? Another another item from Timu. All right, what do we got here? No retail packaging. Save the earth, right? Mm. These are called painter's pyramids. And uh, what you do is you use about four of them, and then you set an object onto them, and then you paint them. And some people claim you can actually turn the item over and rest them on the very tippy tip there, and you can repaint. You'll have very, very unnoticeable paint damage. Something else that I learned, this is the upgraded version. See how you got the tabs here? You can either run it faster there, screw it to your workbench, or, you ready for this? I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, I believe it's, uh, how would that be? Somehow these snap together. There we go, like that. And then you can take another one if you're inclined to, to uh, riddle solving. There you go. And then you can take another one and you can uh, just do that. And I'm pretty sure if you're ultra talented, you should be able to take the last one. Oh, wait, not the last one. It's almost the last one. And then I think you can kind of just take the, this will be the last one. And you can uh, either trim it or something. I don't know. There should be a way to get that in there. <laughs> You might have to trim the last one, but it allows you to uh, hold odd shaped objects up in the air to paint them. I mean, I don't know. This was extremely affordable. Less than, less than $2, I think, for a 10 pack. And yeah, you can go to the store and buy these, but you're not going to get them for less than two bucks. <laughs> and they're going to come with a nice cardboard back and some words and a name and all that. Like, I guess that's important. Still coming from China. So, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've read some, oh, you don't need these. You could make those. You can get a piece of wood. You can cut your own miners. And it's like, yep, you sure can. Or if you have any value to your time, you can spend a dollar fifties worth of your time not making a bunch of garbage on a saw. You can just get these things, and they are supposed to be pretty awesome. Totally reusable. Can you fat? You can fasten them down. I'm trying to think if I have anything laying around here that I can demonstrate how these work. Uh, well, I got, I got a digital keyboard here. A dusty, a, a extremely dusty keyboard. Uh, don't judge. So there it is. No. See how that works? Now don't get me wrong, I got gray in my beard my whole life. I just use like scraps of two by four and you're just color good, but this is gonna be nicer because it allows you to get underneath all of that. And here's where the real thing is, no. Mm, the bottom of this keyboard is probably filthy, it is. But then you flip it over with like slightly wet paint and you set it like that, you're only getting if you can consider damage to the paint, that much damage to your paint. So after you start on the backside of whatever you're doing, paint that, then you can flip it over. Allegedly, these can just shave the time off your projects, depending on what kind of paint you're using or the lacquer you're using. Because there's a lot of dry times with those things and like you're, you're, you're taking multiple day projects and you're getting them down to half a day because the inability to handle and flip and do the other side. So that's pretty cool. You know, I, I kind of expected these to be exactly what they were, but you never know. I mean, you rolled the dice when you're ordering off the internet from uh, the old Timo website, but so far, it's all working out. So there you go. Painter's Pyramids from Timo.